Okay, everybody, welcome to the second uh, post-match press conference with the Irish team. Uh, to my right, we have coach Andy Farrell, and we have the captain, Johnny Sexton. Put your hand up if you want to ask a question, and we'll start the questioning over here on the left. Thank you. Hi, Michael Glenn and RT Sport. Andy, congratulations. Um, your team has risen to another challenge. Uh, what pleased you most about that victory tonight? Uh, our uh, resilience, um, which has been really good of late anyway, um, as you could imagine. But um, that was a proper game, a traditional game that they had absolutely everything. And uh, there was ebbs and flows and ups and downs and how we managed to uh, stay on point mentally, I thought was 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 fantastic. The game was the game was never going to be perfect. Um, first half, I thought we had the um, the rub of the green as far as field position is concerned, and probably uh, uh, didn't ca capitalise on that a little bit. But it was so it certainly uh, rolls reverse, wasn't it, in the second half? But how we um, how we kept our heads. Uh, Getting those couple of penalties at the end uh, when it really mattered is the the big plus side of, of, of our, our performance. Question in the front. Keen Tracy, Irish Independent. Johnny, congrats. Um, you've had some special moments here, some tough moments as well. Where did that rank, and what's the keen out kicking on from it? Yeah, I think we've had a, we've had some big wins in, in pool stages before. Um, that, that's right up there when you play against the, the reigning world champions. Um, it's always going to be incredibly tough, and it was. They didn't let us down in terms of the physicality of the game, but I thought we we fronted up and, and gave some some good stuff ourselves in that regard. And uh, yeah, it's right up there. But we got to make a count now. We got to go, and we got some time off, I suppose, this week with the bye week, and then uh, we regroup, and and then we got to back it up against Scotland and and make sure we do the business to to get out of the pool. Gentlemen over here. Um, congratulations, Andy. Uh, we know the Springboks are very strong in the set pieces. I um, just want to touch on the set pieces and lineouts and, and, and scrums. On the lineouts, you guys lost three early uh, lineouts and then 100% uh, from there. And then in the scrums, you're losing two in the first half. In the second half, um, you're having three penalties. I mean, what are your thoughts on, in the, on the set pieces and are you pleased with today's performance, especially against the Springboks? Well, again, um uh, that's 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 the quality of the Springboks. Um, that's the quality of the opposition that's got to be coming. Um, uh, the, the more that we're able to stay in this competition and keep moving on, so, but keeping ourselves um, on track mentally and, and and staying at it was was absolutely the key. And you know, I thought our our discipline certainly um, in the in in the second half was was very good with it within the line out and. Um, you know, it was roles reverse, wasn't it? In regards to the penalty, the the early engage from South Africa and the, and the penalty that we got on on their line for us to kick the goal. So um, again, we 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 stayed at it um, mentally and um, rolled with the punches, as you as you say, but came out came out strong the other side as well. Gentlemen, towards the back. Johnny, you, fly halves are always marked out for special treatment from back row forwards. It seemed like you had a lot of uh, conversation with Peter Steftertoit today. How, how are you feeling, first of all, in terms of physicality? I saw you hold, maybe holding the shoulder once or twice. And how satisfying is it to come through a physical match like that and be able to walk off as a winner after you've received some um, extra attention? Yeah, it was it like... Uh... Peter Steff's one of the, the best back rowers in the world, and he he's made his presence known. Of course, uh, a few tackles were just just passing the like on the on the line, and, and he and he hits me. It's probably fair, um, you know. So there's, there's a couple of them. Um, so yeah, f very physical game. Um, you know, very different to the first two games we had, where I suppose the ball was in play a lot, and uh, I'd say our running meters were probably higher. But today there was a lot lot more collisions. Um, you know, for and against. So, uh, yeah, tough, very tough game. Um, you know, just so proud of the lads to to front up. A lot of mistakes, uh, just brushed them off and then went on to the next moment. And uh, that was probably the most pleasing part. Everything we worked on in terms of that mentality uh, was, was excellent tonight. So, uh, look, plenty to work on, though, um, and, and make sure we, we get better for the next game. OK, no, what question on the left here? Um, before I ask my real question, any injuries, Andy? Any injuries? Sorry, Rory. Any injuries? Uh, no, we've been um, 
Pretty lucky, haven't we, over the last three games? Um, so much was made about their bench. How did you think your replacements impacted that game? Like we knew they would. Um, um, uh, you know, they they don't just come on on the field and just try and uh, fit in. They 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 come on the field and, and try to add to our performance. And the energy that they they give was was absolutely fantastic. And um, we knew they would because that's how that's how they train and and that's how they compete for each other. Okay, at the front here. Shane McGrath from the Irish Daily Mail. Andy, you talk a lot about the value of adversity and experience. How valuable is going through what the team went through tonight and coming out on the right side of the result? Yeah, it is, it's huge. It's, it's, it's good. I mean, let's, let's, let's be honest. I mean, it's, 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 it's wonderful to win, um, but the, the, there's not much in it yeah, between two good sides, you know. There's, there's not much in it. And I think the best thing about it for, for us is that we... We get to um, uh, feel the intensity of, 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 of a big game within this World Cup and, and, and know what that feels like further, further down the line and um, how we are able to be a little bit more composed, be a little bit more accurate and, um, and play our game a little bit more is invaluable to, to be able to learn those lessons with a, with a win. Um, but what I would say is... Uh, um, when you love defending as much as as, as we did within that game, um, it, it, uh, it stands us in good stead as far as uh, uh, a want and a fight for the rest of the competition. Kevin at the front here. Um, Andy, it was a contest of uh, ferocious physical intensity, but also emotionally so. And I'm just wondering... What's key now to enable you to sort of, I don't know, bottle what you had tonight and, and enable the team to reach those peaks again and maybe even go beyond those peaks if um, if that's possible? Yeah, I think um, I think as the competition goes on, we, we'll, we'll, we'll need to be better because, um, you know, there's a, a few bits of inaccuracies, but there's always going to be that type of... That type of thing with um, with games like this, especially with the pressure that South Africa put on you. But um, we we again was was uh, was able to, to to find a way. And when you say you know it was a an emotional game, and you know how do we bottle that? We've we've got very good at not not getting too too emotional and make, making sure that we 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 stay on task. So. Getting the game in like that within the pool stage is is, is great for us. On the left here, Derek Derek Foley, Le Twelve. Uh, Johnny, could you speak to us about game management and speaking to 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 the line out when it's going wrong at that point? I mean, Rob, or, sorry, Ronan had a terrific first half. His defence was absolutely outstanding. But surely, as captain, can you tell us what you did to try and get everybody to settle down as the three line outs had gone astray? Well, I didn't, I didn't do anything. Uh, I, I let the guys look after it themselves because they, they do such a good job. Um, you know, we obviously were bold on the first decision to go for the corner um, and they wanted to keep the pressure on. And then obviously we didn't really get too many penalties after that. But I still would have backed the, the boys to to deliver. Um, you know, the Springboks have an outstanding defensive line out, um, I would say. And uh, they put us under pressure, but we'll make sure we get it right for the for the next day. And I don't think it had anything to do with Ronan. I think it was a couple of calls. Can okay, up the back there? Bonsoir. Uh, Jonathan, question en français. À quel point vous pensez que cette victoire renforce votre statut de, de prétendant au titre? Yeah. Um, um, is that to me? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you can take it if you want. No, I definitely don't. Um, it's, it's, it, honestly, it, it doesn't have any... It, it's just another game in terms of making sure we, you know, try and get out of the pool. We're, we're not talking about being champions. We're, we're talking about the next game. Today, was, it was all about the Springboks, of course, the whole week. Um, even earlier on in the summer, we, we sort of dedicated some time to prepping for this game. Um, 
but now it's all about Scotland. We're, we're not thinking about anything beyond that. You know, Scotland are an excellent team. I think they'll, they'll be frustrated with how they, they played against South Africa. Um, but at the same time, you saw how we struggled at times to, to get our game going. So um, it's all geared up towards towards that game now, and making sure that we do what's required to, to try and win the pool. Um, you know, but we, you can't look beyond the next game in this competition. We've learned that. That's the biggest lesson we can take from the last few World Cups anyway. You on the right. Johnny, could you talk about the um, atmosphere and the level of Irish support and what it was like for you as a player today compared to all the other team days you've had outside of Ireland particularly? You know, I, I said that we've had some big days before um, in terms of results in the pools, but I've never, ever seen a, a crowd like that. Um, Someone said 30,000 fans. Yeah, there was, there was no way that. there was 30,000. It wouldn't surprise me if there was 60. Um, and they were insane trade. They gave us the lifts that we needed. And honestly, it's not lost on us. It's we, we talk about it a lot, um, about inspiring those people that put their hand in their pocket week after week. They probably saved for, for four years to come here. And uh, there's something we refer to all the time. And I mean that we, uh, we play for them. And uh, they, give us the, they gave us the edge tonight, I think. Um, so fair play to them. And it isn't just them, Jerry. It's, it's the people back home as well. We know that um, back home is, is being worked up into a, a frenzy, you know. And if that is, if that is the sign of, uh, of of things that we uh, can get excited about going forward, then what a what a what a lift that's going to give us. Yep, back here, uh, Andy. How you just here? Uh, Ollie here from TV3 New Zealand. I know you guys are taking it one game at a time, but this result obviously keeps you on track to top your pool, which would keep you on track for a possible quarterfinal with the All Blacks. Is that a match-up you like for this team at the moment? Oh, no, honestly, we, uh, we're not concentrating on that at all. We're just trying to concentrate on ourselves and wherever that takes us, um, we'll, we'll deal with that as, as we go. But knowing that it probably is going to be either the All Blacks or, or France, um, two fantastic teams that we'll, we'll think about further down the track. On the left as well. Andy, when you said the team managed to stay on point mentally, what does that actually mean when you're watching it in terms of the fundamentals of the game? Well, you can, you can get caught up in your own mind as, as, as far as um, of, of, of what's just been, you know, staying, staying present to, to focus on, 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 the, on the next task in hand is... It's tough because it's it's an emotional game, you know. You you get yourself ready for um, combat, and that's what the type of type of game it is. And it doesn't matter whether it's a a call uh, from a from a referee that you that you don't agree with, or a mistake that you've made, or frustration in in not converting a chance into a try. It it, it affects people in different ways, and making sure that we're able to. Um, um, adjust our mindset and, and, and get back on point for, for, for being present for the next play is, is something that we work hard on. It's not easy to do. Um, and we're, not, we're certainly not perfect at it, but we're, we're getting better. OK, got time for two more questions. This gentleman here. Bonjour, uh, question for uh, Andy. Um, avec, uh, avec cette victoire, vous semblez éviter l'équipe de France en, en quart de finale. Est-ce qu'il y a un certain soulagement? Est-ce que c'est un objectif aussi de gagner ce match pour éviter la France ou pas nécessairement No, sorry, sorry. I suppose it got lost in translation, but I think it's the same answer that I give the gentleman over there from New, from New Zealand. Um, we're concentrating on Scotland and, and, and that's all that matters. We, we know that Scotland are a very difficult team to play against and um, you know they'll be they'll be they'll be bursting to, to try and put in a, a performance against us. And if we're lucky enough to, to perform well enough to get out of the group, we'll we'll deal with that um, as we go along. Okay, we've got another question up here. Yep, uh, Johnny, this is for you. Um, <clears throat> oh yeah, uh, Tupai, uh, what do you make of, of Marnie Lubick as a player? And ever in your career, did you go through a period where you were struggling with your goal kicking, and then did that affect the rest of your game? Yes. Um, Manny Leibach, he did some outstanding things. Uh, you saw, obviously, setting up the try. Um, you know, he's a handful with the ball. He's, you know, he's got a array of tricks and stuff like that. And I like every kicker, I think, goes through a period in their, 
career. Um, I definitely had this, a similar one during the World Cup in 2011, and uh, yeah, it's tough. It's tough, um, but you know what? You, you get stronger off the back of it. Um, so when you do come out the other side, you'll be a better a better kicker for it. And uh, I don't think there's a kicker in the world that that hasn't gone gone through that type of uh, period. So um, look, he's an outstanding player. He adds a different dimension to them. Um, so yeah. Okay, final question here. Johnny, uh, I apologize if you've answered this in interviews many times, but if you have to say one factor of what changed Irish rugby from times that weren't as good as now, what would you say it is? The, the people, the people that are involved. Um, obviously, the guy sitting next to me, uh, huge impact, um, and the people that he's brought in. Um, the guys at the top, David Nusifora, like there's too many people to to name, you know, but we we're in a good place, but we, we can't get carried away because every team like tonight, uh, they're lining you up when you're when you're top when you're world number one, they'll use that as motivation or uh, when you're on an unbeaten run, they'll use it as motivation. We just need to keep our feet on the ground and and keep striving for a better game, always a better game. And, you know, teams will see that tonight and go, look, this is how we get after Ireland. And um, we just need to keep learning on the on the run. I think uh, to, go, to go and win a World Cup, that's what you need to do. You need to keep learning on the run um, week on week and, and make sure that you're learning victory as well. Um, so.